Howdy! Look, trigger warning up front, we're going to be talking about a creator with an eating disorder, so we're going to touch on that topic a little bit, and if that makes you uncomfortable, this may not be the video for you. But if that's alright with you, I was recently asked to take a look at Eugenia Cooney, a makeup and fashion vlogger on this holiest of sites, YouTube. Hey guys, it's Eugenia. So today I'm just going to be kind of doing a vlog kind of video. I'm out with my mom right now. She's just kind of in the front seat. Eugenia got started on YouTube way back in 2011 with videos like Outfits of the Week and How to Ratchetly Twerk. Now that twerking video has comments turned off, but that very first video's comments led me to want to talk about this channel. Because I have found so few actual fans of Eugenia. It seems like everyone just loves to hate this channel. Folks have gone all the way back to these very first videos to discuss her weight and her health. A good portion of the genuine fans just seem to be concerned for her, and it's across all platforms, from Instagram to YouTube to TikTok. The comments range from wishing her the best and showing concern, to some saying that she's using anorexia for clickbait and just leaning into it for views. And look, I'll say right off the bat that I do hope that she gets help, but it'll be a lot harder as her channel grows. She's admitted in the past that this was an actual health concern for her and those around her, so she did take a break to get help, but pretty quickly was back with the same type of content. I mention that specifically because it's actually totally okay for someone to just be born chronically skinny. It does happen. And it's not always a health concern. But Eugenia has admitted that in her particular case, it is. And I do think that this conversation goes a lot farther than just body shaming on the internet, which to be fair, a lot of commenters are also doing. The number of Jack Skellington jokes is just overwhelming. Since starting her channel way back then, Eugenia has gained over 2 million subscribers on YouTube. And so few of them seem happy with her. After looking at the articles and videos about the channel, I think that I've found what I consider to be the most infamous video, My Shoe Collection. In the video, Eugenia shows a few pairs of shoes, and it seems like a lot of the fans started questioning what her motives were, noticing that her shoe video showed less shoe and a lot more body. So, um, that's like this pair on. Um, I also think that these are super, super pretty. And a lot of shots of her underwear, which commenters have called out saying that she would have noticed that in the editing and chose to leave it in. And that has led some people to think that she may just be appealing to people who fetishize folks with eating disorders. More recent uploads like her summer outfit collection showcase her in the thumbnail wearing a bikini, again, leading some commenters to think that she's just using her body for clicks. Which is nothing new, people do it all the time, it's one of the hallmarks of a clickbait thumbnail. But it does seem a little bit different when you consider the implications it might have on a young audience. And because of that, a lot of people want to see her off the platform entirely. Even some change.org petitions have started to have her removed for harmful content. And even in the comments, some have said that when they were younger, they wanted to be just like her and found themselves struggling with an eating disorder. With such a large platform, this could obviously have some damaging side effects, but she's still posting as recently as last week. And YouTube does have some protection for users in their terms of service against glorifying eating disorders for this exact reason. But because Eugenia doesn't really talk about it on her channel, there's not really much that YouTube can do. At the end of the day, she's just trying on clothes and makeup. And a rule like that fails to catch some of the nuances. That obviously doesn't mean it doesn't have bad side effects. Like I said, those kids under her influence could be affected poorly. And obviously the effects cannot be great on her health. One of the problems is that as she loses weight, her engagement goes up either from concerned fans or people telling her what she's doing is wrong. The comments will keep flooding in the worse that it gets, and the more engagement that she gets, the more money she makes. So taking someone with an eating disorder, which is already really hard to overcome, and then giving her money that correlates to the eating disorder just makes it that much harder to beat. And I want to make it clear, I'm not saying that there's anything shameful about having an eating disorder. I do hope that she gets help. But giving her all of this engagement in the comment section just might not be the way to do it. 
She obviously already knows that it's affecting her health. She's worked with a doctor on it before, and she's aware of all of these comments because she's turned the comments off in the past. And her subreddits are filled with people talking about how she's using ED to misuse her platform, or that she just needs to get help. Obviously, I'm sugarcoating a lot of it here. There are people that legitimately just hate her, and there are examples of body shaming in the comments. A lot of those types of comments are just unproductive and not okay either. I don't want you to go from this video to her channel and add to the hate. I don't think that it's going to get us anywhere, and it's definitely not going to help her. Some people have mentioned that her mom has been a huge enabler in this, because she's very often behind the camera, and a huge contribution to the channel. To the point that some people think that she's just pushing her into this even more. I initially didn't want to talk about Eugenia because even though I have struggled with body image issues, I've never really dealt with an eating disorder. But I did want to pose the question to all of you and see what you think. Because I'm just fascinated that it seems like her channel is fueled by people that love to hate her. What's concerning is that isn't really a long-term business model. It's the internet. People will only hate for so long and forget a lot quicker. But of course, I don't know everything, I hardly know anything, so I want to know what you think. Is her platform inherently dangerous, or is there something that we can be doing better for her and her audience? This is a touchy subject, so I'm hoping we can have a civil discussion in the comments. And if you like seeing my face, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel, it is really appreciated. And as always, if you hop in the comments, you can be a dick to me, just don't be a dick to each other.